Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 36. Now I've been talking at a few maths conferences over the last couple of months and one of the little demonstrations I've been doing that seems to have gone down pretty well is transformations in three dimensions. So I thought we'd take a look at that today, specifically looking at reflections and rotations. So first thing we need is a 3D page which I've got in front of me. I'm going to go white this time I think just for a bit of variety so if I hover up there and click that. Uh, now the usual thing this box has got to go and these numbers have got to go so let's hover up to edit axes, let's go to options, always outside, no thank you, show bounding box, no thank you, click OK, nice. Uh, might do a little bit of a zoom in, so if we remember from last week, hold down control, uh, click your left mouse button down and pull towards you and that will zoom us in, nice. Okay, what I need is a cube, I cannot be bothered drawing one, so let's see if we can enter one. So if I hover up here and I go to object and I go enter shape, I could type in all the coordinates of the vertices, but better still, what about this, click on presets, there's a cube waiting for me there, click OK, there's all the coordinates, click OK, beautiful. Now I can move that cube around uh, like I can do in two dimensions and that looks quite nice there. Now a useful thing to ask your students is if you were going to do a reflection in 3D, what would you need? Because of course in 2D you need a line. Well, a line's not going to quite be good enough in 3D. What I'm actually going to need is a plane. Now we chatted about planes a few weeks ago, so um, I won't go over that again. But let's whiz in the equation x equals 0 and see what we get. So I'm going to hit enter, I'm going to type in x equals 0, click OK, and there I have a lovely plane that I can look around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect my cube in that plane and see what happens. So I need to tell Autograph the cube I want to reflect and the plane I want to reflect it in. So both of those need to be selected. And if I right click, hopefully down there I have reflection. Click OK. Where is it? Let's have a look around the back of the cube. Beautiful. There it is. And now I've got loads of options. Like I can say to the students, OK, if I grab this uh, cube and move it towards me, what happens to my reflection? That also moves. I can swap it from side to side. I'm just using the arrow keys here, or you can drag your shape around however you want to do it. Another nice thing to do is to grab a corner. So if I uh, change my snap settings to 0.1 and I click on this corner and I say, OK, if I give that a little wiggle, which uh, corner or vertice on the reflected object will also wiggle, give it a wiggle and it's that one there. So that's quite nice thing. And I'll just snap that back in um, to its original position. There it is there. Now there is a little uh, reflection. Let's do a rotation. Now in 2D to rotate you need a point. Well in 3D a point's not going to be enough because we're not going to have a clue where we're going around this point. What we need is a line. Now the best way to pop a line in I've found is to get a point, stick it where you want it, so I'm going to go there on the x-axis. And then if I right click with that point still selected, hopefully I get line parallel to the x-axis. And there it is, a lovely little yellow line there. Now I'm going to tell Autograph I would like to rotate that object around that line. Both of them are selected. Right click and I get rotation about line. Nice. I choose my angle. Um, yeah, 90 degrees sounds quite good to me. I will click OK. And there it goes there. Now what's really nice about this is I can use my animation tool if I want. So I can click on that point and hello, there's my little uh, lightning bolt. Click that and now I can actually show what happens as I increase the rotation angle. And that object rotates right the way around there, which is very nice. I'll get it back to 90 degrees. Perfect. Okay, how about a little question to end on? Um, I'm going to highlight one of the points on my original object. I think I shall highlight that point there, and I'm going to make it red. If I wiggle that point, which point on my rotated object is also going to wiggle? So blue has been reflected to give green. Green has been rotated 90 degrees to give there. I'm going to wiggle that. Perhaps you could pause the video while you have a think about it, and then I'm going to reveal all. OK, are we ready for the answer? So again, change my snap settings to 0.1 for a bit more flexibility. Hover my red thing, give it a wiggle, and that's what's wiggling the back right. If you can just see it sneak in there, or if I turn it right round, there it is there. So there are transformations in three dimensions. Maybe we'll take a look at a few more of those next week. Hope everybody's well. See you later. Bye-bye.